gamers, it's Cozy Mel from Melody Rose Games, and I'm here with a paleo video for you. This time, I was searching around down in Southern Bahari Bay, looking for medallions for the last temple that we did, and I found something in a little cave down there. And I wasn't exactly sure what it was, but it kind of turns out that it is a, well, very old used chewed up cat toy. But I picked it up anyway, <laughs> and it led me to a quest called Better Days, as you can see here. And in the quest, Better Days, it asks you to find the owner of the cat toy. So anyway, that is how this quest got started. So this is what happens to you if you are skulking around in Bahari Bay, looking in every nook and cranny and going into caves and holes in the ground and places behind, you know, curtains of vines. <laughs> being nosy you end up finding little things every once in a while that are hidden quests in the game that we don't know anything about that's the nice thing about Palea and the devs at Palea they will show you some surprise love here and there and this is one of those cases so this is down in the windy runes area of your map in southern Bahari and this is destroyed human buildings uh, remains from 10,000 years ago, fallen down columns and joists and, you know, wood and concrete and all that stuff. And you will see it along the bluff um, here in the area that's full of shallow puddles full of water. And behind here is a cave. And this cave used to be a place to find Pelium. So if you were looking for Pelium before, there would always be some in, or a lot of times there would be some in this cave. So we would go Pelium hunting here, but they don't do it like that anymore. Now it's out everywhere with the iron ore, but that's why I knew where this cave was. And you may know where it is too, but if you don't, it's where my blue marker is on the map. I traveled to Hideaway Bluffs by travel board, and then I walked here from Hideaway and you just follow the road to come on down over from hideaway to walk toward the windy runes and this cave is halfway between hideaway and the windy runes where the temple of gales was oh wow i said the temple of gales without groaning <laughs> maybe enough time has gone by <laughs> So anyway, if you have not been to this spot before, well, good for us because you're going to enjoy knowing where this spot is. It comes into play every once in a while in one of the secret quests or when there's something hidden somewhere. So it's kind of a nice location to know about. And I'll show you another one while we're down here. <clears throat> but if you are coming from your home, the outskirts up here you will come through your backyard and through a tunnel and you'll come out at the uh, travel board that is near the outskirts and kind of near the flooded steps so you can come here from your own backyard for free and you'll be in northern bahari and then you can take the travel board and take it down to hideaway bluffs or you can walk either way um, you can walk all the way down here if you just want to save on the money, which I did a lot when I was first playing. So then you go into this little cave and it's a back around the corner and there are a couple of areas where things can be found. Uh, sometimes there might be a chest and sometimes there might be a letter or a book. You never know. And in this instance, what I found down here, like I said, was just a little small glowing pile. It was just a little glowing object. And it didn't really look like anything. At first, I wasn't sure if I was even seeing something that was clickable or interactable um, because it wasn't very noticeable. So anyway, I'm nosy and I <laughs> went up to it and clicked it and then realized that I had just picked up an old nasty cat toy. <laughs> if you've ever picked one of those up in your house, 
You know what I'm talking about. Anyway, so I picked it up and that started me on the quest better days. And it asked me to find the owner of the cat toy. Now, for me, a cat toy immediately made me think of the you know, a Grimalkins. Grimalkins are cats and Zeki is a Grimalkin. And a lot of our little hidden quests these days seem to lead to Zeki. He's becoming quite a big figure in the story of uh, Palea these days. Now, this happens just to be another little secret spot that's down here, but it's uh, got geysers in both ends and when you jump you activate the geyser sometimes and it just throws you right back out so you'll be floating around in midair ah, but <laughs> after a couple of uh, geyser throws <laughs> I finally will get down in it no normally you can jump down in it and land beside the geyser and uh you know or on the wall and and then just let yourself fall down from there but this has a hidden hole in the ground and the hole in the ground underneath my feet here has another hidden hole in the ground behind some ivy like some draping ivy so there's actually three holes you jump down you jump down you go down some more so you are way down in the earth um, if you use this spot. And I'm showing you this in case you haven't ever been here. This is also in the Windy Runes, very close to the cave where we find the cat toy. And there are often things hidden in this spot. So I just wanted to give you a heads up. It's a good spot to know about. Um, anyway, I was going to show you um, this area out here because we will be You'll see in a minute, we will be uh, coming back here, but um, that's where you're going to end up going fishing for Zaki once we talk to him. Now, this happened to be filmed during the Magi Market, and the Magi Market is gone now, so you don't have to worry about finding him here. You'll find him in his store, usually 10 in the morning until 4 in the afternoon or something like that, and then he wanders over to the bar to have a beer, um, so he's at the Kilima Inn. For a few hours and then he comes back and goes to the underground but so you find him and ask him if he knows anything about this cat toy and <laughs> that's his reaction i think he recognizes it don't you <laughs> so he's like where did you get this and uh he's very excited i'll let you read his comments but he's uh well, he's exasperated or, uh, you know, I can't really tell what his emotions are, but he's like uh, surprised and then um, kind of not happy that you know about it and then kind of happy he could ask you to help him out with it because he said his mom usually always left a letter with uh, anything like that that she would leave for him. He's just surprised she knew where his hidden spot was for leaving contraband, but he's pretty sure the letter must have gotten into the ocean or something and he wants you to go fishing because he's too busy running his empire and we don't have anything to do with our lives of course except run errands for Zeki so <laughs> he wants us to go down and go fishing at the closest body of water that you can fish in to the cave where we found the cat toy because he believes that that is where we will find his uh, letter from his mom. Now, this is all kind of secret stuff because he's not supposed to have contact with his mom after he's a grown up. It's a cat thing. Who knows? Anyway, you will go down where we were. And the closest place to fish, of course, is kind of the south um, east corner of the map of Bahari Bay at the ocean. That's the closest to where that cave was. And you'll find a letter in a bottle when you go fishing. And because you're on this quest, you'll catch it pretty quickly. I got it on the second cast, I think. So it's not like when you're just out fishing for a rare fish and, and you have to, you know, catch 30 fish before you get it. it it's um, set up to go ahead and give you the message in the bottle so you can finish the quest. So you should get it in the first few casts anyway. It doesn't really pull. 
on your fishing line the same way that a fish does. So just keep your eyes open and, and watch your bobber so that you can see that there is something hooked on it and go ahead and reel it in. And it'll be the message in a bottle. And like I said, this is at um, Beachcomber Cove, which is southeast in southern in southern part of Bahari Bay. So Bahari Bay has a northern and southern half. And in the southern half, the southeasternmost corner down here is uh, Beachcomber Cove. So this is one of the places that we also look for the new flotsam piles that are in the game. So if you happen to be down here anyway, you might check in that little cave I showed you and see if you find a cat toy if you haven't already. And then that will send you out on this quest. And like I said, we just fished a couple of times and got it. And now we're back in Kilima Village. And we're right in front of Zeki's store. So we will go in and see Zeki. He's usually here, like I said, about 10 in the morning till 3 or 4 in the afternoon before he goes over to the bar to have a beer with Kenley. So you can usually find him here. So we'll go ahead and tell him that we found the letter from his mom in a bottle. And uh, we'll give it to him. It's it, He tries to hide how emotional he gets about hearing from his family. And he wants to make sure we didn't read it. And we say that we did not read it. And he says, oh, man, you're so gullible. If, you know, if it had been me, I would have read it for sure. Well, of course, we couldn't read it because it was in a bottle. But I acted like we were altruistic and good person and, and that we didn't read it because we knew that would be wrong. <laughs> Anyway, you get lucky coins. So this seems like a lot of nonsense, but it's not. You get three lucky coins from him for doing this quest, or I did. So that is so exciting because you can only get one lucky coin per day, and that is if you purchase one thing per day out of his cash register. And if you do, you'll get a lucky coin in the mail, and you bring it down and put it in the lucky box, and you get a prize and open it up, and it can be anything from a stick of butter to a piece of furniture or a plushie. I mean, there's some great stuff in there. And if you want more than that one that you get for free, you have to purchase that lucky coin downstairs in the basement of Zeki's Black Market for 10,000 gold for one coin. So if he gives you three lucky coins, that is 30,000 gold worth of lucky coins. If you look at it from that perspective, point of view. So to me, it's well worth the headache of running around with a gooey, chewy cat toy in your pocket <laughs> for a half an hour while you do this quest for Zeki because uh, it's, uh, it's fun to have extra lucky coins to see if you might get some of that beautiful valley sunrise furniture like the four-poster bed or the dining room table, you know. Um, any of those pieces are nice. Or you might get one of the big plushies, like the big Ormu plushie with the overalls. I mean, I'm telling you, there's some cute ones. So, you know, um, it's kind of a, a fun thing to do for some extra lucky coins without paying 10,000 gold a piece for them. So anyway, I hope this has helped you. And please like and subscribe and comment and ring that bell. It means a lot to YouTube. So it means a lot to me. I can't keep making these videos for you without your support and your love. And I appreciate it so much. Every single one of you means the world to us here at Melody Rose Games. And we really appreciate every time you like and subscribe and ring that bell and leave a comment for us. It truly makes a huge difference and we want to keep doing this. So I will see you in the next one.